Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me, still in lockdown in Ireland, and I'm within five kilometers of my home. And something that I've been doing over the last number of weeks is getting out and just getting a drive really around my whole area, looking out for different things that I could photograph in the right conditions. And where I am today is right next to the road. So my car, as you can just see, is just here on the edge of the frame. And it's quite a busy road as well. So you might get some cars passing me while I'm talking here, but what I've actually, what I'm here to shoot is there's two trees that are in a field on their own. When I first came past here and I saw it, I went, okay, this could be nice. Now it was a gray day or anything like that. So there wasn't much of a light condition, but today now we've got a bit of a gap. I'm facing east. The sun is going to obviously set in the west and I'm hoping I get some nice shots with some nice movements in clouds and hopefully they catch some color. So I'm going to play around with a number of different shutter speeds today. I'm going to go for some fast shutter speeds. I'm going to go for some long shutter speeds and see what I can actually get by playing around as well with the focal length. So at the moment here, just to set it up, I'm at 70 mil. And the challenge I have is that there's power cables that are running either side of the trees. So what I might end up doing is zooming into 200 or there, thereabouts and isolating those two trees and try and not get these power lines that are actually in the, uh, the frame. So yeah, we'll see how we get on anyway today. It'll be something simple really, but yeah, good to get out, good to get using the camera as always. And maybe I'll get some nice shots of these two, these two trees if we get some nice light behind them in the clouds. shots now that I've taken here is at f10 and I'm at 20 second exposure ISO is at 100 and by doing a longer exposure I am getting a small bit of movement in the clouds now ideally when you're doing long exposures uh, with clouds you're better off to have it coming towards the camera but um, I'm butted right up here as far as I can go there's a big hedge the whole way along here so I don't want to go further on down because I won't be able to uh, get around in that in, in that area anyway and there's electric electric cabling or yeah, electric fences around this as well so I imagine they kind of want people to stay out so I don't really want to go traipsing through some farmer's field because yeah, I just don't want to do that. Um, at the moment I'm in landscape orientation so what I'm going to do now next is I'm going to change that and the beauty again of uh, an L bracket is that you don't have to change anything whatsoever you just take it off it goes back in exactly the same plane of focus that you would have had and what that now does here from this point of view is puts the two trees on the bottom uh, third and then I've got this sky with the clouds that are above it here. I'm going to continue with my long exposure and by doing that again you know I'm going to get a very very similar shot to what I got in the first one. Being very careful obviously not to move, not to move my feet even though I'm on stable ground when you're exposing for around 20 seconds any movement at all can give you judder in the photograph. Also when you're doing a long exposure, turn off your image stabilization because what that effectively is doing is making minute little compensations itself the whole time, which means that it'll render your image actually blurry. So yeah, we'll see how this one turns out now and then we're going to zoom in a bit further as well and play around with that also. around 25 minutes now away from sunset and we are starting to get a bit of nice bit of color that has you know kind of come kind of above the trees there a moment ago but this bank of cloud on the west does look like it's going to swallow it up I had the other camera uh, just on a kind of a time-lapse record there to be able to see the movements in the clouds and see if there any kind of colors and stuff coming around what I have done actually is had a mixture of different um, exposure times so I've gone for a very very fast shutter speed I've gone for an F4 as well because I wanted to see could I get some bokeh in the background down those trees. And also with the birds as well, I wanted to go for 
kind of a faster shutter speed and hope that I can get a couple of the, the crows that are around that tree as well. There does seem to be a number of them actually nesting within that tree, so it must be ha home for, uh, I suppose, a lot of them. Um, the concept as well now at the moment, actually, one second now, can I get those birds? Um, is I've got the camera on high speed continuous here because I want to be able to take a number of different shots when the birds are flying by and maybe that will add something different as well into the image but the concept now is just to wait for this light hopefully it will come should light up above it did get a couple of nice patches of light anyway nothing spectacular because it's not sunset uh, yet but you never know always you know, wait to the very very end you never know it's not over till it's over so yeah I'm going to just wait around now for this light to come hopefully and uh, continue to take some different shots in here and play around. The only subject I'm going to have is these two trees, so we're going to see a number of different photographs of the same subject today, but the only difference, I suppose, really will be the focal length, the exposure time, uh, the clouds, and then again, like a moment ago, if any birds or anything like that that I want to add into the frame. So yeah, we'll wait, let's see. Hopefully, we get something nice. So while I was waiting around there for the light to come, the light didn't come, but also something else arrived, which was rain. And I was about to send the drone up actually just to get some footage there around that tree and I put the drone down to set it up and all of a sudden I could see drops on the drone and then I looked towards the tree and there was some rain by the tree so taken some other trees so then I've taken a couple of photographs any of that here I'm not going to send the drone out now because it is raining here at the moment the light as well is going to be gone so yeah good to get out, good experiment anyway, and hopefully some of the shots actually might turn out nice well, to show the differences in the exposure times. But yeah, I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, it's long before.